Welcome to Sports School. I'm Mark Verstegen, Director of Performance, and I have Victoria Verstegen and Matthew Verstegen, my niece and nephew, and we're here to get you a great strength workout. You guys ready to get going? Yeah. yeah. We always jump right into things around here. It's the way we do it. First thing, let's get warmed up with the hip crossover. We've done this before. We're going to do it for eight repetitions. It's going to loosen up our mid part of our body as well as strengthen it up. Matt's head here, feet there. Victoria's head here, feet there. Back to back, go ahead and hop down. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that belly button right into your spine. Knees are gonna be bent up. Good, and Victoria's knees up, arms out to the side. And rock over to your left, and over to the other side. That will make one rep. If you're feeling really cocky, you can take your knees pulled right up to your chest. We have eight reps. Here we go now, over and back. And that's one. Good, right to the middle. Okay, next rep, over, keep those knees together, and back, and that's two. Good, Victoria, I like those legs up. Over and back, roll it over here. Good, that's away. Good, Matt, and that's three. Matt, you feeling that at all? Good, over, and back, are you feeling that? Kinda. Good, let's go ahead and try it a little more difficult now. Victoria, that's halfway there, Matt's tucking his knees right up to his chest, same thing now, Matt. Go ahead and challenge yourself at home for these last four, good. That's, is that a little tougher, Matt? Yeah. Good, that's what I want to do. Can't ever cut him any slack. Victoria's going three quarters, I love it. That's gonna make it a little tougher too, huh, Victoria? Yeah. Good, we have two reps left. Don't let your feet bang. Matt, don't let your feet bang. Control it all the way over. Big stretch, and then contract that new range of motion. And rest, you guys, great job. That was the hip crossover. To make it more difficult, just keep tucking the knees more and more up toward your chest. It makes it tougher, doesn't it, Matt? Yeah. Excellent. All right, you guys did terrific. Let's go ahead and hop up. The next exercise is backward lunge with a twist. So I'm gonna have Matt and Victoria just face each other. You won't need a whole lot of room. We're gonna step back. Let's go ahead and try this as a warm up rep. Step back with your left leg. We're gonna lunge down. So our knee just as close to the ground, but not hitting. I wanna turn my shoulders into the forward leg. Turn toward me, Matt, that's the way. Now really reach big, big reach. Now fire this glute, and then let's stand right back up. And drop the other leg. That's the way, bend down, turn into the front leg, big turn and reach, and back up. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna do a total of four reps on each leg. Can you guys handle that? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna break you down. Okay, here we go. This is flexibility and strength. Okay, here we go. Let's step back with the right leg and go. Good, turn into the front leg. And stretch, fire the glute, and step back up. Good, really hold posture now, Matt, and go to the other side, and go. That's the way, we only have four, make them perfect. Good, and back up. It's almost like it's that away to the beach. And back, good, turn, it's that away to the beach. Good, Matt, and bring it back up. And turn the other side, that's the way, drop <laughs> it in. Good, big reach, excellent job, we're halfway there. Two left, here we go, back up, good, and back. Good, big stretch, big turn, big reach, and up. Good, really focus on the stretch, and go again. Big squat, big turn, and reach, fire the glute, keep the balance, and up. Last one coming back right here. Backward lunge, big drop, turn, reach, and up. Well done. Does that make the legs burn a little bit? I think yeah. it does for you guys, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Matt's like, way yeah. All right, that's a little bit of a stretch, but we're here to get oh, strong today. And that's what we want to make sure that we can do to help improve our posture, decrease our injury potential, and definitely woo -hoo, improve our speed and our power. So make us a little bit better athlete. Our next component, we're going to share with you about dumbbells and to do some resistance training that's specified toward kids. So we're going to take you through, we're going to grab a couple dumbbells. If you have some cans, you can use those. Books will work great. Or if you can find a set of small dumbbells laying around the house, we'll give it a go. The important thing is to make sure we learn the perfect technique on everything we do, and from that, it'll act as good flexibility, so good lengthening and good strengthening. From there, you have the foundation to build a great building. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Matt, let's go ahead and grab those white dumbbells in the center. So our next exercise is dumbbell front squat to press. So it starts off like this. Let's curl the dumbbells up. We'll hold them right in our ribs, like just like Matt has here. Dumbbells will stay right there. We're gonna take the feet outside our hips and keep the weight on the midfoot to heel. We're really gonna sit our hips back and down like you're gonna sit on the couch. 
Let's go ahead and try one perfect rep. Okay, lock in good posture, lock in, and squat down. Good, good. Notice the nice angles here, and then fire from the glutes, and stand right back up, and press overhead. Woohoo! Great, bring it down, and rest. We're gonna do that for eight repetitions. Grab whatever you can find, whether it's a book, whether it's cans, whatever you need, grab them, and we'll go. Matt Man, you ready? Yeah. You have great squat technique, Victoria, as do you. Something to be very proud of. We were born with it, and we better keep it. <laughs> let's take those arms right up just like that, and let's hit the hips back and down, and we'll go down. Good. Sit back. Victoria, hold those dumbbells up, and up. Press right overhead. Good. And down. Good. Big squat. That's the way. And up. Matt, great posture. And down. And up. Really fire out of your hips. Really try to push the dumbbells off your shoulders. And go again. That's the way. Good control and up. Nice. Let's go for about three counts down. One, two, three, and up. Good. Matt, try to keep your toes more straight ahead. Good. And go. That's why we only have three left, you guys. Hold great posture and push. Victoria, really focus on keeping posture. And go again. Focus, posture, 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 and up. Good. That's the way. And let's finish up this last rep. Finish strong from the glutes. Posture and push. And rest. Great job, you guys. Let's go ahead and set your dumbbells right down. That was the dumbbell front squat to press. A great total body exercise. Make you breathe a little bit, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And that's OK. We're going to get a great effect from doing those types of activities. It's gonna give you good strength, but also gonna make your heart develop a little bit too. It'll help make you better. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna act as much of a stretch as anything. We call it the dumbbell RDL. We're gonna hold our dumbbells right into our side. We're gonna hold perfect posture from ear to hip. The legs are gonna be slightly unlocked and we're gonna sit our hips up and back, almost like we were bowing to the crowd. So we're gonna grab those dumbbells. Let's go ahead and try that. Who wants to demo this one, Victoria? Um, okay. Good. Let's turn sideways. Okay, feet just outside the hips. Good. Shoulder blades are going to stay back and down. The dumbbells will stay right up front, and they're going to slide right down Victoria's thighs. Her legs will be slightly unlocked. Good. And she's going to set the hips up and back. All right, Victoria, here we go. Now, notice the weight sits back here on her heels. Okay. And Victoria's going to make sure. Now, the dumbbells are a little far away, so will take the whole body and just shift back a little bit. It's really important. It is really important to hold this posture, and it'll come right back up, find the muscle of your glutes and the hamstrings. We're gonna do this for eight repetitions. Let's go ahead and go into it, Matt. You ready? Let's turn sideways. Shoulder blades back and down. Hold perfect posture. Legs unlocked. Sit the hips up and back. The dumbbells will slide right next to your thighs. And hold posture. Matt, that's probably good for you right there. And come back up. Good. Now notice Matt isn't going through his bigger range of motion. And go again, seven more. Good. The dumbbells stay in a little bit closer. Now, Matt, you feel a stretch, don't you? Yeah. Good, and stand right back up. Matt's a little bit tight in the hamstrings. He's growing so fast. Take the feet a little wider and toe straight ahead and go again. Good. Now, Matt, keep those dumbbells in close and pull right back up. Really squeezing the shoulder blades. And again, we're almost halfway there. Use it for a nice stretch. Don't ever round the back nice and flat. Go again. Good. Really hold now, Matt. Hold and right through. That's the way, hold that posture, you feel a stretch? Yeah. And contract back through, fire your glutes and hamstrings. Last three reps, and again, good. That's the way, hold it, and back up. Now Matt, your range of motion is getting a little better each time. That's because he's starting to stretch out. Good, hold the posture, that's it, and back up. We're gonna try to lengthen and then strengthen. Square up those feet again, Matt. There it is, hold posture, that's a great rep. Now if you can see, in this last rep, Matt, go one more time, hold posture, how Matt's doing a nice job. Look how much lower he's got here in his dumbbells and then pull right back up with good posture. That's a great thing to see. From the first rep to the last, you actually increase flexibility. Okay, the next one I'm gonna do will only require one dumbbell. It's called the dumbbell row. So Matt, Victoria, you guys are beautiful. Let's go ahead and turn sideways here. I'm gonna take your left hand and put it right on your left knee right here. You can take your feet outside your hips so I have a real sturdy base. Can you do that, Matt? Yeah. Good. I want to make sure my back is real flat right there, Victoria. Put your left hand on your left knee. Set that back. So lock in. We're going to slide the dumbbell right up to our ribs. Let's go ahead and try that. So Victoria will pull up, and she's going to hold posture. And that would be one rep. Matt's got great posture right here and ready to go. OK, let's get it for eight. Here we go. Good posture and pull. Up. That's the way. And down. Good. Hold great posture. That's it, Matt. And up and down, and up, 
and down. Try to keep your elbow right into your side. And up. That's perfect, Matt, man. And down. And up. Good, Victoria. And down. Now, Victoria's holding great posture. That's how Matt's doing. How's yours doing? Hold that posture. Two reps left. Good posture. Hold it. Set it, Matt. There it is. It's just that slight tilt right there of the hips. Hold the posture and rest. Well done. Okay, let's go ahead and switch hands. And Victoria, let me ask you a quick question. Was it harder to do the row or is it harder to try to hold that position? Hold the position. Your muscles in your back are probably a little tight, huh, Matt? Yeah. And if I had you hold this dumbbell right here and just curl it in a curl, and I had you hold it right there and I had you hold that for 30 seconds, just like that, do you think your bicep would burn? Oh, he's cocky. Uh-uh. Yeah, it would. If I have you hold that right there, that muscle's gonna burn. When Matt holds his position here and Victoria holds that here, that makes those muscles work. Even though you don't see a lot of movement, just to hold it there is really important. Let's switch hands, focus on pot. He's gonna prove me wrong. <laughs> All right, here we go. Set yourself in that good posture. Let's put the hand on the outside knee, and we're gonna go for another set of rows, eight repetitions. Okay, Matt, really square up. Hold, that's what I like to see. And up, good, and down. Good, and up, and down. Oh, it's head to head. And up, good. Who has better posture? Who has better posture? That's the way. And down, keep that elbow right into your side, and up. Good, we have three reps left, hold posture. And that's the way. Elbow right into your side. You're holding great posture. Good, that's the way. Good base, and rest. Whoa. Don't get to Verstegen's head to head. Nothing good has ever come of it before. They never want to quit. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to go ahead, we're going to grab both dumbbells, and we're going to work another exercise. Matt, always make sure that's a good point, that we always bend down, and you bend with your hips when you pick things up, regardless whether it's with weights, or regardless whether it's out in the garage. Always use your hips. Let's go ahead and face right in this way. Feet just outside the hips. We're not going to let them bust a smile. <laughs> we're going to come right in here, hold the dumbbells right at your side. We're going to curl, and then press. And the name of this exercise is... Dumbbell curl, curl to, to press. press. We're brilliant over here at sports school. Part of what they make us go through. We're going to hold perfect posture, belly buttons in, hips are back. Let's go ahead and do this for eight reps. Here we go. Curl it and press it. Good. Now notice Victoria's legs are slightly unlocked and she's going to hit sit the hips down a little bit more. All right, here we go. Seven more. And up. That's the way. And press. Push tall. And that's really holding good posture. Now, if you can use a mirror, that would be terrific. So Victoria can see their hands can come here, rotate, and come up. Notice we're not doing a whole lot of arching in the back or doing those things. We're trying to stay what we call real stable, meaning it maps just like a tree down here. So they can push right up and go down. The only thing I want to see move, go again, is right from about here up. We're curling and pressing, but from here down, don't want to see any movement. That's it. We have three left. Can you handle it, Matt? Yeah. Good. Curl it and press it. Now, make sure that we don't get those legs locked. We just sit the hips slightly back. That's perfect. I like that better, Matt. Good. And then press. it, babe. Victoria, how are you doing over there? Good. Can you do one more? Okay, good. And all the way up and press. Great job. Excellent. Well, let's go ahead and sit right down on the ground. That exercise was dumbbell curl to press. Now, Victoria said at the last exercise that she actually could do a little bit more weight. So what we would do is we'd try to find something a little heavier around the house, or she could take the weight on her dumbbells and just add up a pound or two pounds and go again. This is very, very safe, as long as you make sure you can do one perfectly for all the repetitions and then go again. And that's why we're here, trying to teach you these basics at sports school so you don't have to learn from another classmate or somebody who might not have any more understanding or knowledge than you do. So learn it from the source right here at sports school. This next exercise is really fun. It's the dumbbell pullover extension. So I'm gonna have you grab your dumbbells. Victoria, I'm gonna put your feet down that way. Matthew, I'll put your feet down that way toward the dumbbells. We'll kind of go a little head-to-head -head competition. <laughs> Matt's gonna take his arms straight up and demonstrate for us. He'll take those arms straight up. He's gonna roll his thumbs right back. And he's gonna keep his elbows right up to the ceiling and then he's gonna extend right back up. Notice he does a nice job keeping the arms in. He brings it down and right back up. That's gonna work the muscles right behind the arms. Matt, go ahead and rest. This is a really safe exercise because it won't let you go too far. Just keep the elbows in line. We have this for eight repetitions. Let's go ahead and take those dumbbells and let's put them up over your head. 
arms straight. Let's drop them right down past our ears. Don't hit your ear. And up, good. Elbows stay right in. You should feel it in the back of the arm. And go again, up, that's the way. We have six more left. That's the way. Good, three, go again. Up, four, nice job. Up, five, how's that weight, Matt? Good. Good, up, six. That's it, we have a couple more. Up, seven. That's it, one more time. Up, and eight. Victoria's finishing up. Good set. Well done, you guys. Let's go ahead and set those down and spin around. You guys feel like you had a good workout? Yeah. Excellent. That is the 101s from how we're gonna use resistance training to build strength in your body, how you're gonna use it in everyday life, or how you'll use it in competition. We hope you had a great episode here at Sports School. From Victoria, Matt, myself, we look forward to seeing you again.